Uh, oh, man. Well, um, there were some things that I, I liked from our team uh, with this being our second game um, in SEC play, and there were things that I did not like. Uh, the things that I did not like read, read his he head. Uh, Tennessee is a top 10 team in the country for a reason. Uh, the margin of error is very small, and I thought that uh, that second quarter we just lost our identity um, and, and had to really dig deep in the third and fourth uh, to even make the game somewhat uh, competitive. guys cut it down to 11 uh, a few times, and I know 10 at the very end, mm -hmm. but you know, when the game's kind of hanging the balance, you were able to get into, back into single digits. What was kind of the, why weren't you guys able to kind of get it any closer at, at that point? Well, I mean, because we, the second quarter, the score was 23 to 10. <laughs> uh, that's a, like, that's not 23 to 10, uh, no disrespect to like Samford, like that's Tennessee. We gave Tennessee, the number seven ranked team in the country, 23 points and only scored 10. Uh, it was our, when, when you win a lot of games, you don't get punched a lot. Um, and we got punched. And that's why I kept calling timeouts to try to get us to fight. This is the first time at halftime, I didn't even meet with the coaches. I immediately got in there because uh, here's the thing guys, had we beat Tennessee, what would it have done? It wouldn't have gotten us in the tournament. Yeah, just same as we lose, it's not going to keep us out the tournament. We need to look like we're a tournament team. So that was my focus, and we weren't looking like that after the first quarter. And so when you play a team like Tennessee, South Carolina, that are really strong, really physical, you, the margin of error is small. And I thought that we gave up some crucial offensive rebounds even at the end of the first quarter. And it, it wiped us out and we, it took so much energy in the third and fourth. You, you, it would have taken a miracle for us to come back. Were you guys looking at this as a sort of measuring stick game? Yeah, I mean, for me, here's the thing, like we wanted to play Arkansas and then South Carolina. So if we had 16 games, I want, we have it in fours. Okay, so it would have been Arkansas, South Carolina, Florida, Tennessee. We would have liked to finish two and four out of that. So out of every four games, we want to finish at least two and four. That's how you get in the tournament, guys. That's the formula. All right? So now we're at 14 games. So we got to be seven and seven. Um, I know, like Tennessee, they're trying to get a one or two seed. I ain't trying to get a one or two seed. This program hadn't been in the NCAA tournament since 2007. I'm getting, we're trying to get in the tournament. Uh, so for me, this was great for us because um, we needed to see where we were. We knew where we were, but our players needed to see where we were because rebounding has been an issue for us and they just annihilated us on the glass. I mean, they average, if, if, if you want me to be like nitpicky, like they get 18 offensive rebounds a game. We held them to 16. Is that an improvement? Not really, but you know what I'm saying? We wanted to cut that down, all jokes aside, to nine, uh, if we could, and we just did not do a good job of that. So with that being said, we got um, Alabama and Mississippi State. We'd like to protect home court and finish a four game stand three and one. That's even better than, you know, what we, uh, would hope for. Uh, it was the five or six minute scoreless stretch kind of in the second quarter. What did Tennessee do to make scoring on the offensive end so difficult in the first half? Oh, I mean, it, I don't, it, wasn't, it wasn't them. It was us. Like, we just walked the ball down the floor. Our pace was really awful. If you look in the third quarter, we scored 23 points. That's because our pace was superb. We just walked everywhere. We did not, uh, we, we did not, um, take good shots. We started playing tight. All of a sudden, Kira wanted to make it happen so bad for everybody else, for, for the team, she didn't share the ball because there was no confidence. Uh, my wings didn't show up this game. You know, they didn't. I, I, we, we got nothing from our wings, and it's seven of them, and they did not show up. So we needed them to show up. 
You know, like I can't, I wish I could put the ball in the basket for him. I felt like I had some really good plays drawn up and we just missed. Uh, and we have to make those shots. And so uh, we do that. This would have been a different ball game, you know, but we didn't. And, uh, you know, that's on us to make sure we get them in the gym. But I don't think it was them. It was us. A technical foul uh, in the third. Yeah. Was, was that a frustration with the refs, with your team? No, I told the ref. You know what I told the ref? I said, why did you take so long to call it? Like, hurry up. I'm trying to play. We're trying to, I'm trying to get my team fired up. You know, like, he didn't want to give me a tech. I, I wanted to get a tech. Like, something. Hell, like, let me shout at something. Get, get my team going on and get them focused because uh, – and, and that's just a – Old school coaching move, you know? Like, did I really care that he missed the call? No, I didn't care. Like, we were getting killed on the glass. Who cares that he missed that, you know? Um, so they cracked up because I went over there and I said, next time, call the tech sooner, you know? Um, so that's what it was about. It was me trying to get my team ramped up.